Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some desk brightening. Stay tuned. So I am going to bring in today's fun project so that we can have something pretty to look at while I yap for a minute. So for a lot of people who used to go into an office to work and be around people and have that interaction and just have those moments throughout the day, that would be a distraction and maybe a day brightener. A lot of those people are now working from home and interaction is limited or it is by Zoom, Skype or um, Microsoft team whatever it is that is the way that we're having a lot of human interaction now working from home can be very isolating so it's very important that if you're working from home you have things around you that are just going to help brighten your mood I have two sisters now who used to work in an office and are now working remote and it may last for quite a while and day in and day out you see the same thing you know the walls in your home nothing really changes at least when you worked in an office you could get up and just interact with people not anymore not right now so I decided that I would do my part to at least help brighten my sister's desk and the workspace around them and today I'm going to show you guys how I made these two awesome little desktop items here I have a sticky notepad holder here and then I have a 9 by 4 notepad here and I got all of these notepads from Tuesday morning and I haven't been shopping anywhere for the past couple of months so I basically been shopping my stash to do my videos and to make items for people that I can ship out and so these notepads and sticky notes come from my stash but we can take these already fun delightful little things and dress them up and that's exactly what we're going to do but before we do I wanted to share with you guys two other pads that I've already made that are ready to go complete with the little pins and these are nothing more than the Dollar Tree writing tablets all I did was took those tablets and put a dress on them that's all I did and we can take all types of plain items use our pretty papers to dress them up and then turn them into something that looks like this or something that looks like this. These are items that we can gift or these are items that we can sell at our craft fairs or sell to other people who normally buy items from us. So I wanted to show these two to you guys to show you that we can also take the larger pads and do the same thing that I did to these pads where I put the crayons on the outside and made it into a little writing block for a younger person. We can dress these up and we can make them any season, any reason, any gender. I'll say that for as long as I have a YouTube channel. So all we have to do on most of the projects that I demonstrate is change the papers. So I am going to set these to the side and we are going to go through the supply list for these two. And here's what we're going to need. I have a little strip that measures four by five and one eighths. I have a piece of chipboard that measures four and a quarter by five and an eighth. I have two pieces of chipboard that measure three and three quarters by four and one quarter. I have a piece of chipboard that measures five eighths by nine and a quarter. I have two pieces of chipboard that measure nine and a quarter by four and a quarter and I have a decorative piece of paper that measures four by nine and a quarter. I have another decorative piece of paper that measures nine by nine and a quarter. Another decorative piece that measures 10 and a half by 11. And a decorative piece that measures six by 11. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make the little sticky notepad holder and here is the sticky notepad that I'm going to be working with. The one that I'm working with is actually three and a half by four. You can get sticky notepads in four by four or three by three or even larger. And all you need to do to adjust your measurements, if you're not working with the three and a half by four, but you want to make this, just add a quarter of an inch 
to whatever size it is. So if you have a four by four, your chipboard pieces are going to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then you're just going to add that quarter to the papers that you're using. It really is that simple. Just add a quarter of an inch to whatever it is you're working with. So to make the sticky notepad holder, we need to start with our paper that measures six by 11. Then we're going to take the two chipboard pieces that measure three and three quarters by four and a quarter and the piece that measures four and a quarter by five eighths. And that's what we'll be using to create the jacket for this. So I am just placing this down. Then I'm going to place down my spine and I'm using about an eighth of an inch in spacing and then I'll place down that second piece. And now I'm just going to trim off some of the excess. And I'll take my stylus and I'm going to go along the edges of my chipboard and this is just a little thing that we can do that will help to minimize the severity of any cracking that might take place. And the process that I'm using for this is going to be the same process that I'm using for the larger notepad as well. So once we have our edges scored, I am just going to stand this up and go around and fold over. Now that I have my creases, I can use my finger blade and I'm just going to miter this and I'll miter this on all four sides. So then once I have my edges mitered, I'll take my glue, place the glue down, fold this over. Get the glue off my fingers. And I'm just gonna fold it over. And then I will get that stuck down. Then I'll take the edge of my bone folder, go along the edge of my chipboard jacket just to get everything nice and stuck. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'll just get that stuck down. And then I'll use my bone folder to get it nice and cute. And don't you just love this paper? This paper was actually gifted to me by AC Moore and it was gifted to me last year. Unfortunately, AC Moore has gone out of business. Okay, so once I have my edges folded over, I already have tape on this. And I am going to go ahead and just take my liner piece, which is four by eight and a quarter, place some glue on the edges, and we'll get this stuck down. So once we have our glue on the four edges of our liner, we're just going to take that liner piece and place it down. And then I'll use one of my paper towels just to really smooth everything out. I'll use my bone folder to get everything nice and stuck. And then I'll make sure that I have my spine really defined on here. Stand it up, take a look. And what I'm looking for is to see if I have any paper that's bubbled up, and I do. So then I'll just use my bone folder, and all I'm doing is pressing glue towards the area that is sticking up, and that should help it to stick down. And you can see that I no longer have any areas bubbling up. So now I can bring in my notepad. I am going to take some glue, place my glue on the back because I am making this a one and done. And I am just going to put this down, make sure that I've got it nice and centered. I am going to look at it like this. And when I know that it's centered, I'll use my bone folder, go in on that last piece and make sure that everything is nice and squared. And so now I have my sweet little notepad. On the other, I added a pocket. If you happen to have any scrap paper, just cut out a small piece and add whatever size pocket you want. And then on the front, we're going to go ahead and make the holder for the pen. 
So all I'm going to do at this point is take one end of this, fold it in, bring in my mini brads and my paper piercer, and I'm not going to pierce a hole on the side that has the flap. I'll just pierce a hole right on the top, take one of my minis, and put it down. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue, and I place some hot glue right there. I'm going to fold it and close that. So then I'm going to borrow one of the pins from the other notepads that I made because I don't have any more mini pins. I thought that I did, and I'm sure that I do, but I just can't put my hands on them. So I'm going to take the piece that I've already put the brad down on, and I am going to just press this so that I can get an impression on both sides. So now that I have that impression, I can trim off some of this and then I'll fold it over to where that line is. I'll use my paper piercer and again I won't pierce the flap. And I'll take my mini and pop it through, open it up. And then I'll use just a little bit of hot glue and just like that. So now we can take this and the first thing that we're going to do is place hot glue on just one part of it. So I've got my hot glue on this part. I'm going to find my positioning for wherever I want this to be and then I'm going to stick it down on that one part only making sure that I've got it nice and stuck. You can use a different color here if you want to have some contrast. I am okay with pattern on pattern. So then once I have this side stuck down, what I want to do is make sure that when I stick this piece down, I'm moving it in so that it is as tight as it can be. So I am going to add some glue. and I added my hot glue to this piece. I'll take my pen, put it down, and then I am just going to tighten this and I'll move it in as I tighten it. And so now we have a sweet little sticky note holder complete with the pen. So this is going to be great sitting out in my sister's workstation at home. It'll be something that's prettier than just the normal stuff that your company will mail you each month so that you'll be able to work from home. So I set the little one to the side and now we're going to make the big. So what we need to make the big is a 10 and a half by 11 inch piece of decorative paper. Then I have my two pieces of chipboard that measure nine and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I have my piece that measures five eighths by nine and a quarter. And again, guys, the concept is the same. So if you don't have a nine, by four notepad to work with whatever size you have to work with add a quarter of an inch my notepad in this book is nine by four but i cut my boards at nine and a quarter by four and a quarter so i simply added a quarter to the height and the width of this okay so we need to take our nine and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece and we're going to place it down just like we did the other. So we'll get it placed down. Then we need to take our spine. We're going to take that spine, place it down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Then we'll take the second nine and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece and we're going to place that down. And again, we are going to go along the edges of our chipboard pressing into the paper with a stylus or whatever else you have to work with. You don't have to go out and buy a stylus. If you have a bone folder, that works. If you have a letter opener, that works. So then once we have our edges scored well, we are just going to wrap around the chipboard by standing it up and just folding it. And now I'll come back in and we're going to miter. 
And now that we have our edges mitered, we can go ahead and place our glue down and do our wrap around of the paper onto the chipboard. And you can use double sided tape for this as well. I am using just plain old reptile glue, which is my go to glue. And guys, I'll let you in on a little secret while I'm going through the process of getting this stuff down. Making notepads and things like this, this is what I do for myself. I love to have these pretties around me at home because they just make me feel better. And then when I have an opportunity to make them for others, I do. But at home, this is what I like to write in. I love to write in a pretty notebook. And it's just an instant mood brightener when you use some of your pretty papers just to create something for yourself. All right, guys, so once I have my edges folded over, I have added tape to the chipboard portion of the board. Now I'm going to bring in my nine by nine and one quarter inch piece of decorative paper. Make sure before you add the glue to it, you check it to make sure that you have a nice fit. And if you need to trim some, just trim some off. So I am just going to add glue on all four sides of this paper. And now I'll take this and I am going to get this positioned down just like that. And I'll bring in my paper towel. I'm going to get everything stuck before I use my bone folder. And then I'll bring in my bone folder, get everything stuck down. Do the same thing that I did with my end here. You can see how that paper is not stuck. So all I'm going to do is take my glue and just force it by pushing towards me. I am basically forcing that glue into that spot where it was bubbled. And now I don't have any more bubbles. So now we have this sweet little book just ready to go. And I am going to take my notepad. And so I am going to make this a one and done because by the time that my sisters go through these, they'll be ready for a different pattern. And I don't mind pulling out some more pretty papers and making something else that's going to help brighten their stay at home. So I am just adding glue to the back here. Then I'll take this, I'm going to put it down, making sure that I have it nice and straight. And I'll stand it up just to make sure and see if I need to move it any. And then when I have it where I want it to be, I can just lift up, go to that back page and get it stuck down. And now we have yet another really sweet notebook. So just and so just like on this one, I am going to add a strip right down the front with some mini brads on it. So all I'm doing is I have a 12 by half inch strip. I am going to put three mini brads, no measuring, and I'm just kind of guessing on my placement. You want to be more exact, you can, but I am just doing some guessing. So then I'll use my gold mini brads. Take out three, not four. And just open these up and get the stuck down in just a second. So then when I put these down, the reason why I gave myself tails on both ends is because now I can move this to make sure that I have my placement even spacing here and even spacing here. So once I'm happy with how it looks, what I'm going to do is just add some glue, making sure that I add glue around that brad. And now I can take this 
and I am going to get it positioned where I like it. So once I have it down, I'll turn it towards me to make sure I've got it nice and straight. Then I'm going to use my bone folder just to go in between the brads and the edge and get it stuck down. And then once I have it stuck down that way, I'll just come around the brads where I've got glue placed and then just help it to stick even more. And now I'm just going to use my paper towel just to come in. Now that I have that, I'll use my scissors, trim off my excess. And so now you can see that we have another sweet notebook to go along with this one. And basically, guys, I have two designer sets, one for each one of my older sisters. This is going to be perfect for them because, you know, it just gives you a little bit of class when you're working from home to write in something that looks like you could have purchased it from a high-end boutique. And that's exactly what this does. And it's an instant mood brightener because look at how pretty these papers are. I know that both of my sisters are going to hop out of bed just so that they can use these pads every morning. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project and I hope that you are able to take some of these ideas and transform some of the beautiful papers that you have into items that can be used either in your home or the home of a friend that you know is now working from home or a relative who's working from home. This truly is an instant mood brightener. So again, I hope that you've liked this video. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.